Well, holy shite. Six weeks in lockdown, no work, no exercise. Making a few cakes, eating a lot of cakes, and look at that. Mm-hmm. So, I think the journey needs to begin to lose this over the next 14 days. Woof, it's gonna be a mission. My love, where are the scales? I need to weigh. Okay, I have the scales. Let's weigh it and turn you around. Yeah, that's 111.9 kilograms. Woof. So for the next 14 days, I will make short videos of what I'm eating, uh, what exercise I'm doing, and we'll see if I can lose, let's say, seven kilograms in 14 days. Uh, hopefully, I can get rid of this. Morning, it's day one of my first day of the next 14, where I plan to lose six, maybe seven kilos. So let's see what I have for breakfast. Breakfast today is going to be coffee with a sweetener, not sugar, and two pieces of toast instead of four. Mm -hmm. At 11 I'll be starving. So it's afternoon now, it's about 12.30, starving, absolutely starving. And for lunch today, uh, I would normally have two sandwiches, a couple of pastries, a packet of crisps, a bit of chocolate. But today I'm going to have a sandwich and some tomatoes. Feeling a little bit hungry, so here I go. Okay, so it's now uh, time to go and exercise. I'm going to go for a walk, possibly three kilometres. It's a little windy, but it's very sunny. But I'm going very downhill at the moment, which will be very easy. Coming back up might be a problem. Oh, my love. So back after that walk, five kilometres. Absolutely knackered and starving, but can't eat the usual things that I would eat, pastries and treats and biscuits and sweets and all those sorts of things. So I'm going to have uh, a ham and egg salad, tomatoes, lettuce, eggs, ham, and hopefully that will see me through the day. And then if you like what you see today and it's um, good, then subscribe to it because this is day one. Tomorrow morning when I wake up I will weigh myself again and see how much I've lost today and overnight and then we'll go from there and tomorrow we've got a totally different food for the day. Let's speak to them. Good morning. Oh, it is a bit cloudy today, but this is day two, and uh, legs are feeling a little bit jelly after yesterday, five kilometers of walk, but feeling good and ready to go on the scales and see what actually came off yesterday. So let's have a look. Okay, so yesterday when I got on the scales in the morning, I was 111.9 kilograms, and today oh, 110.9. That's a good kilogram lost just by eating different. So that's pretty good. That's a kilogram in 24 hours. So. We'll carry on today and for breakfast today I'm having a bowl of porridge. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens today. So it's now two o'clock and to be perfectly honest porridge is obviously a lot better than two pieces of toast and jam because I'm not as hungry as I was yesterday but for lunch I am having some more cereals. Lovely. Some cinnamon grams which uh, very tasty. So I had porridge this morning and no snacks or anything in between. So now I'm going to eat this cereal and then we'll see what we're going to have for dinner and where we're going to walk today. So it's another beautiful day and I'm now going to go for a walk. Hopefully sort of similar distance to yesterday. And that'll be good. I'm feeling much better today. I'm feeling much better after my cereal breakfast, cereal lunch and uh, see what we get on today. So we're back from uh, walk today, four kilometers, not quite five. Uh, took a different route, but feeling a lot better today. Uh, I think this, the porridge, the cereals this afternoon uh, seem to be 
doing all right actually. So this evening for dinner I'm having Rice Krispies, the Snap, Crackle and Pop. And then tomorrow morning I will weigh myself and we will start off on day three. And tomorrow will be a different diet altogether and we'll see how much I've lost today. So see you again tomorrow. So good morning, uh, day three of uh, my 14 day weight loss program. Uh, feeling okay. Yesterday didn't seem to be too bad, but look at the scales now and find what they say. Mm -hmm. Come on. Okay, so day three on the scales. And um, today they read 110.7. Not as good as yesterday, but hey ho. Okay, so 200 grams overnight. That's not good. Obviously, uh, cereal diet hasn't achieved as much. Or maybe it's because I didn't walk the extra kilometre. Mm. Maybe I only walked four kilometres yesterday instead of five. That would have been a big difference. But today, anyway, for breakfast, I'm going to try one of these. It's like a slim fast nutritional drink for... Dude, <laughs> let's see what happens with this one. So, a very successful morning. It's now the 1st of May. So everyone's on a siesta fiesta, no working. So that's why I'm at home. And this morning I had a uh, supplement drink for breakfast. And I'm going to have exactly the same for lunch. And then this evening, maybe I might eat something properly. Because even though I'm not feeling too bad today, a little See you later. So it's a beautiful afternoon now. I'm going to go out and do my walk. Hopefully, maybe push to five kilometres again today. See if I can lose a little bit more weight. But we'll see what happens. But see, beautiful sky, beautiful day. Feeling good and still losing a bit. So all happy. Hello, everybody. It's now um, afternoon, evening, middle of the day. It's food time, and today I have had milkshake for breakfast, milkshake for lunch, and now I'm having some beautiful homemade soup and some fresh chicken, boiled chicken. Fantastic. Should see me through till the morning. Thank you now. See you tomorrow. Well, good morning to you all, and uh, this morning it's day four. Mm, interesting day, day four. Uh, woke up this morning, feeling right, a little hungry, but um, I think some weight's going off. I don't know whether I've lost weight or gained weight today. It's a bit strange, but only the scales will tell, so let's go and check it out. Okay, so let's say it's day four, and let's see what the scales are speaking today. Grams up. That doesn't make any sense, but so there you go. That's very shocking. Two milkshakes and some soup with chicken, boiled chicken, and I put on a hundred grams. So this morning for breakfast, I'm having two pieces of toast. Back to day one with jam and my coffee, and let's see if I can lose another larger amount of weight today. So it's now lunchtime and for lunch today I'm having the same as day one just to see what the weight loss I can actually achieve. So it's going to be a sandwich and tomatoes. Yummy. So out for a big long walk today because I want to lose at least 500 grams by tomorrow morning. So I'm going to go for maybe six to eight kilometres. I've got my pedometer on and my distance and let's see how far we get. Mm -mm -mm. So just back from the walk and uh, not bad today, the sun's in a little bit so it's not as hot, uh, just did six and a half kilometres, um, not bad, I've got a pedometer with me, um, eight and a half thousand steps which is not bad at all, so now I'm going to have some dinner consisting of some soup um, and then hopefully that'll take me through till tomorrow and tomorrow I'm hoping to have lost 
weight rather than gained 100 grams. Uh, tomorrow I'd like to lose maybe 500 grams. So we'll see what happens and see you then. Well, good morning. It's um, day five today and uh, looking forward to another day of eating some random things to try and leave this place that I've put on over the quarantine time. As you can see outside, it's another lovely day. So, first job is to go to the scales and have some weight. Let's check out what I've done. And here we go again, day five. Let's see what. Hundred and ten point nine, another hundred grams on. So seriously, I have added another hundred kilogram, um, hundred grams. So let's recap. So day one, I ate quite normal, and I lost a lot of weight. Day two, a little bit. Day three, added so a little bit more. Day four, added. Day five. So if you've got any suggestions, if you've got any ideas, then leave a comment for me, just so that I can try something different. Okay, so now I'm going to go and have some breakfast. So I don't know why I'm bothering, because I keep putting weight on, so... But I'm going to have some cereals and a cup of today this morning for breakfast, and we'll see what happens later. Good afternoon. It's now lunchtime, having soup, and chicken, full chicken, and soup, and then going for a big long walk. <laughs> okay, and off we go again. All walking, walking, walking. Another hundred grams put on today. Right, it's working a treat, loving it. So, let's go for a big walk today, and hopefully tomorrow it'll be less. Mm -hmm. So just back from the walk, and today four kilometres. It's very hot. Any more than four kilometres, my head is leaking water. Uh, but now I can. Uh, where are we? Oof. Five thirty. Another half an hour or so. Have some dinner. Okay. See you later. So, end of day five. Now time for dinner, and today we're going to have some. Soup. Homemade fresh vegetable soup made by the lovely wife. And tomorrow morning I will weigh and hopefully tomorrow I've got to be lighter than today. It must happen. So good morning, it's today day six. Day six, so for the last two days I put the hundred grams back on, even very little. Walking the long way. So today I'm going to just have a normal day. Um, let's see what happens. So I think I need to go and check the scale for yesterday because yesterday, um, yesterday was different. So I feel different today. So I think I have lost a little. So let's go and check the scale. Okay, so day six now. We've put two days of 100 grams of 100 grams. Yesterday, very little food, big walk. Let's see where we're at. Got another hundred grams. You have got to be joking me. That is shocking. It's measles. So there you have it again. Eat very little. Oh, big long walk. Uh, and we're on another hundred grams. Now maybe for the last three days I've not been to work, so that might be the reason why. Because Friday was a holiday siesta, Saturday and Sunday, today is Monday. So today I'll be going to work, I do a very physical job, and then go for a walk again later. And I think tomorrow might be the flip around, and might start losing it again. Fingers crossed, let's hope. But for now, I'm going to go and have nice healthy porridge for breakfast and for lunch. 
no idea, but I'll check in for lunch. Right, okay, so lunchtime. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day out there, yes, beautiful day. And today for lunch, I have got egg salad. So I'm gonna eat my egg salad. Working hard today, look, sweat. Oof. And hopefully, tomorrow morning, when I get on them bloody scales, they're gonna tell me that I've lost some weight. Because if they don't, I'm gonna have to cut my legs off. Mm -hmm. Hello everybody, it's time to eat my dinner. I'm out there, meat and pasta. What a day. So it's um, 6.30, time to go for a walk, try and walk off some more weight, and why not, it's a beautiful sunny day, everything's lovely, and here we go. So back from walk, five and a half kilometres, not bad. So that's it for today, hopefully tomorrow when I get on those scales. I'm going to have lost weight. Fingers crossed. So, good morning everybody. This is day seven, so one week. Um, in the morning, just woke up and feel okay. So, just a quick recap for the week. Started on 2011.9 kilograms. And then lost a big amount, and then lost a bit more, and then put on, put on, put on. So let's see what the scales tell me this morning, and see how the day goes today. So one week passed, and two days lose, three days lost. So it's today. Hundred and ten point eight. Well. It's down 100. It's better than that. So 100 kilos down, which is better than what I ended up talking about before. But it keeps going that way. So it's better to stay at home. Pancakes. Health pancakes. So now on day seven, it's lunchtime, so I'm having two <coughs> boiled eggs. Woohoo! So it's now dinner time, and uh, what did I have? Uh, what did I have for lunch? Egg. Oh, egg. Ah, yes, two eggs. But for dinner, I am having this beautiful, beautiful fish with vegetables. Oh, yes, this should be good. This should be good. So, had some fish for food. Very tasty indeed. And now, going out for our usual walk. But we're going a different route because we're so bored doing the same route all the time. So we're going to go a slightly different way. Showing. So this is where we're going. Have some exercise. So back from walk. Uh, five kilometre walk today. Uh, starting to feel good actually. I don't know whether, um, I know the scales don't read fabulous, but um, I feel better. It's the end of now a week, and I think I'm slimmer than I was when I started, but I've just got to keep going. You've got to keep going, you've got to keep going, and just keep doing it. And it will all work out in the end. So yes, for the morning of day eight, it's all looking a little bit better, but there's still lots to go, lots to do. Still maybe four or five kilos to go. But plenty of time, no need to rush, just make it happen. So, good morning, this is day eight, and I think it's looking a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Better than it was. That's good, happy with that. So, let's check the scales again. Another day, another scale away. 110.5! That's good. That's very not bad at all. Good. Very good. Very good. And there you go. Well, that's interesting. 300 grams. 
uh, eat normal, pancakes and, okay, I had two eggs for lunch, but I had a lovely evening dinner with fish and vegetables. Fish. My wife keeps telling me it's fish. She's very clever. She's genius. But anyway, today, this morning, I'm having some cereals and for lunch, I'm going to have a sandwich again and then I'm not sure what I'm going to have for dinner, really, but we'll see. Okay, see you later. So, good afternoon and it's now lunchtime. And as you can see, it's a very beautiful day, so I'm going to have my lunch by the pool. Okay, here we go, in sunny Spain. Very hot. I have water, obviously, because it is hot and sandwich. And work some more, and then hopefully have a nice, lovely dinner. And then we'll see if we can do some more. Okay! Hey everybody, it's now time for and today for dinner we have boiled meat and vegetables. Very, very tasty. Let's eat this and then we're going to go out for a usual walk, I think. Good. Another glorious day for a walk. So, we had good food, nice boiled meat and vegetables. And now we're going to walk on this beautiful day. And we'll go up and down and down and up and down and up and we'll cover a certain amount of kilometres and then we'll get home and rest. Oh yeah. So this will just give you an idea of what walk I do. I go along and down 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 and down. And I go all the way to the bridge, which is just there. And then all the way back up again. Two and a half kilometres down, two and a half kilometres back up. Cool. So, just back from the walk. Flipping lovely. Uh, have a nice big glass of water, and then I will see you all tomorrow for the weigh-in in the morning. Have a good evening. So, good morning. It's day nine. Yesterday was a good day, let's see if today's going to be a good day too. Weather's good, looking good, feeling good. And again, it's day nine, ready for the scales. So here we go again. So 110.3. Well, I think that's a lot better than yesterday. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Cool. So, just a very quick recap. Uh, we started nine days ago at 11, 111.9 kilograms, and today we are 110.3. So, in my calculations, that's just over one and a half kilograms lost. Just changing food, same exercise each day, and just here we go, really. Still a bit to go, so we'll just keep going. Okay, so for breakfast today, I'm going to have some cereals again, some uh, cinnamon grain, very tasty, and uh, yeah, and then I've got some work to do, and then we'll see what I have for lunch this afternoon. So, hello everybody, and now it is lunchtime, and for lunch I am having borscht, which is from Belarus and it has beetroot and lots of other very good things in it. It's very healthy, it's very tasty and if you want to see how to make it then you need to subscribe and send me a message and let me know and I will send you the ingredients of how to make it and it's fantastic. So let's try it now. So it's that time of day again, going for a walk. It's a bit cooler today. The sun's out still, it's quite nice but it's a bit cooler. So off we go and look. She has to get in there somewhere, but I tell you what, she point the camera at her and all of a sudden she goes, mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're off for a walk anyway. See how we go today. Ooh, so we're back from that very long walk. Um, it's a bit cooler today, so we went a little bit further. We actually covered about six and a half, seven kilometres today. Uh, downhill, uphill, as usual. 
and now it is time for dinner and as I said to you this afternoon for lunch this is borscht very 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 tasty but this, this evening I've got boiled chicken with my borscht and if you want the ingredients if you want to know how to make borscht which is a very very healthy beetroot based vegetable stew soup type thing from Belarus then drop me a message and I will let you know Bon appetito! Hello, good morning to you, and today is day 10, actually a very sunny day out there, and um, it's very, very well. So we're going to go and check on the scales in there and see what uh, the scales say, and then it's Okay, so on the scales for day 10, this is going to surprise us today. 10.3, yes. Well, that's good. It's not up and it's not down. It stays the same. So that's not bad. So, no weight gain and no weight loss. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not brilliant, but it's not bad. So, today for breakfast, I'm having a laddie. Mm -hmm. Made these before on YouTube. If you go back and actually look at the channel, you'll see what they are. Absolutely beautiful and tasty. And you can go and see how to make them yourself. And now it's lunch time, lunch time, lunch time. Every day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's almost like just, I don't know, it's like a routine that everybody does, isn't it? Shocking. But today I'm having sandwich and a coffee and then we'll go for a walk hmm. breakfast lunch walk dinner hmm. let's see what happens today so we're coming to the end of day 10 gotta have some uh, dinner when i get home but first we're gonna go for a long walk and ooh, see how many calories i can burn up and down them hills and we'll see what I've got for dinner afterwards. So just back from the walk, about four and a half K. Um, close encounter with the police because we were out when the old people should have been out. So they came and told us off for being out walking when it's time for old people to walk. But never mind, got away with that one. So I'm gonna have some tea and then uh, And a very good morning to you again from sunny Spain. Lots of sun today. This is day 11 and things are looking still going in the right, right direction. So we're going away. That's all the way to say. direction it's all good stuff so time for breakfast and because when you lose weight you think that you want to just eat some more and more and more <laughs> so <laughs> she drives me to eat yeah, all sorts of bad things but anyway today for breakfast I've got a laddie again but today with chocolate oh yeah chocolate So it's afternoon, afternoon, afternoon always comes after morning, and today I'm going for an old classic. Today I'm going to go for beans on toast. Beans, one in five a day, very good. Not so good for the people where you live, and that live with you, because everybody knows that beans can give you a little bit of the old problem down below, and everybody else suffers. But I like it, beans on toast, so I'm beans on toast for lunch today. Yeah, so... Mid afternoon, going out for that usual stroll around. Nothing too um, heavy today. No up and down hills. I'm going to go on the level through the town because it's very quiet. Not everybody around. That's because even in Spain, even though they're allowed out now, they still have a siesta. And they like to have their siesta even though they can go out and walk. They don't, they stay at home. Hey ho, never mind. Hi. 
Very good reason why you should live in Spain. Because check out that view. Mountains everywhere in the distance, sun shining, lovely day, not too hot, not too cold, but just the right sort of weather for walking. Fabulous. Hello everybody, it's now dinner time. Yay! And today for dinner, I have got something that doesn't look that appetizing, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's actually looking black and like sort of stew. But it's actually very, very tasty. It's giant mushrooms, potato and onions. And they're boiled and oh, the taste is to die for. So that's what I have for dinner today. And I will see you all tomorrow. Good morning to everybody and this morning is day 12. Uh, this morning we've had thunder and rain and ooh, some very, very different weather. And now let's go and see what the scales say. Ooh! Oh, that's really this morning. So I'm going to go right up my nose into your bed. But that's very, very good. I'm very happy with that. So that's 108.6, 108.6 sounds like a radio station, but that's not bad. So we have two more days to go, and then we'll see how much in total I have lost over 14 days. So time for breakfast, first meal of the day, and today I'm going to have some mm, yummy. So on day 12 today, I'm going to have borscht for dinner because that's what I made today. And I've made a video on how to make a borscht, very healthy, very good food for you. So for lunch today, we are having a borscht. Beautiful. So today is Sunday, so it's very quiet. We're going out for our walk. Hello everybody. Oh, hey. So we're going to go for our walk now. It's very windy. The weather's changed quite drastically, to be honest. It's actually quite cloudy. My wife is strutting her stuff, but I'm actually videoing me. It's actually quite funny. <laughs> so we're going to go out for our usual walk, um, and uh, we'll see what. Where is she? Dave? Yay! And we'll see what we get, and then we'll uh, report back in a bit. All right then. We're just back from the walk. Just four kilometres today. Uh, weather's quite cool, but we picked up some oranges on the way, and so I was carrying about. Three kilometres, three kilometres, three kilograms more on the way back because I had a rucksack with some oranges in. Uh, but yes, so all good and uh, looking forward to my dinner. So we're all sorted and uh, down for dinner. And for dinner, I am going to have some more borscht, but some boiled chicken, boiled chicken on the side of borscht. Can't go wrong, healthy, good stuff. I'll see you in the morning for the weigh in, see how much I can. Just two days left to go. Fab. So, very good morning to you, and today is day 13. So, it's just a day and tomorrow to go for this two week period of seeing what weight loss we got. And today, beautiful weather again, as usual for Spain. And I need to now go and check what the scales say. So that's 108, 108.1, so another loss. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. So another good um, loss today. Uh, things are really, really going well now. And this morning I'm going to have two eggs, two boiled eggs for breakfast. And then we'll see what is published. So hello and good afternoon. It's now lunchtime, so for lunch I'm going to have egg on toast. <laughs> Very tasty. And a coffee of course. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then we'll see what's for dinner. So out and about around town doing my usual afternoon exercise. Making sure that I stay getting some weight off. And I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Had some good food this week. Good results. And tomorrow's the final day so 
We'll see what happens tomorrow. Hello! Good afternoon! It is now dinner time. And today for dinner, yes, say hello. Today for dinner we have chicken and mashed potatoes, very tasty, very tasty chicken sauce that my wife makes from scratch, very beautiful, very tasty. So I'm going to eat this and already been for a walk as you saw, um, not really that far to be fair, probably two and a half, three kilometres, but it was all good and um, we'll see what the scales say tomorrow. So until tomorrow, bon appetit and hasta la vista baby! So good morning to you and it's now day 14 so that's it two weeks is up and let's go and see what the scales have to say for themselves one oh seven point eight one oh seven point eight that's not bad so let's have a recap so what a very interesting two weeks i've had just to go back um at the start I weighed in at 111.9 kilograms and I'm now 107.8 so that's 4.1 4 kilograms and 100 grams lost but interestingly enough um, just changing habits I mean you know while we were in lockdown it was just too easy to go to the cupboard get some chocolate get some sweets have a bit of ice cream and the food, really, I haven't altered the food. The food that I've actually been eating is pretty much the same main meals that I've been eating always. You know, breakfast is the same, uh, lunch pretty much the same, but a little less. Um, and a dinner, uh, exercise-wise, obviously I do do a physical job as a builder, but um, for exercise, we've been out walking long distances hard walking as well downhill uphill but the main thing is the change in actually what i'm eating and it just goes to show that if you just alter it a little bit change it a little bit i've done it in two weeks i've done four kilograms in two weeks realistically if you just cut down on a little bit of this and i cut down on a little bit of that a bit of extra exercise then you'll be absolutely spot on and you'll be able to lose the weight without any problems so obviously at the end of this 14 days I'd like to thank my wife who's been very patient with me because when I don't eat the sort of foods that I like to eat I can get a little bit sick, a little bit uh, short. So very very well done my love for putting up with my behaviour let's say. But the big question that I need to ask everyone, if you'd like to leave me a comment, is what next? Now that I'm okay, I'm feeling good. Do we want uh, some more cooking in the kitchen? Do we want maybe, oh, I don't know, I do electric plumbing, building, construction. I could do some handy DIY videos for those out there who want to try a bit of their own. You let me know, send me a comment.